Hey guys, uh, bonus exercise number two is, I don't really know the exact correct name for it, uh, but you call it whatever you want. I call it diagonal press, you know, bar press in the corner, whatever. You'll see what I'm trying to get at when you do it. Pretty similar to the standing push press. Um, it's just that you're changing it up, you're isolating one side of your body, which I'm a big fan of. You know, it's good to have your whole body driving together, but it's also good sometimes to break it down, isolate it, and just, you know, hit one thing at a time, right? It's another kind of full body exercise, starting from the feet, going right to your arms, you know, but always feet, hips, upper body. If you notice when I was bench pressing and stuff like that on those tips that I gave you guys, I always started from the legs. You know, you don't want to just be strong up top and have no legs. All the power comes from down here, translates, goes up into your pressing, okay? So always start with your feet, that's your base, all right? This one is almost like a modified punch, all right? But what you're going to be doing is you're going to be twisting and turning and rotating in, okay? So as you drive the bar up, you're going to go with your legs, your hips, everything rotates in. It's the same if you've got a guy who's a boxer and he punches like this, he has no power. If you turn your whole body and you rotate, that's where your power comes from. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys this press, um, proper form, right from the ground up, okay? Start with stagger stance again. You don't want to be like this. You can if you want. It's not that there's right or wrong. I just don't like it. Stagger stance from here. Always drive with the legs. Get that bump in the legs, okay? Bump with the legs, drive up, okay? Always up on the toes, hips turn. As you come down, you reset. Bump with the legs, drive, okay? Drive. That's the, uh, one of the exercises that actually I showed in my blog post on bench press alternatives. Something to get away from bench pressing and I had a lot of people post up that they loved it. Put that in as well. It's a good to go with your standing press or you know alternating in and out. There's no real right or wrong. Play with it and see how you like it. For reps, I'm not a big fan of doing this one super heavy. I like the higher reps and more explosive type. You know, eight to 12 reps-ish, eight to 12, somewhere around there. I don't consider it to be a real strength movement so much as just a full body rotational movement. So. Give it a try, let me know how you find it.